All right, what's going on, guys? Dan here from Stock Ability. So I wanted to make this video to kind of end the trading week here on options expiration and quad witching. I want to talk about crude oil, trading crude oil futures, and give you guys insights to how I put on positions trading in the crude oil futures markets. So if you're new to our YouTube channel, make sure to like, subscribe, and just below there's this little bell button there. Hit that because every time we upload a video, it'll send you a notification. So that being said, let's dive into this video. Let's talk about crude oil futures and crude oil futures options. Let me talk to you a little bit about it. So uh, for those of you who don't know, welcome to our channel. I started my career about 15 years ago as a pr proprietary futures trader. Uh, one of the first products I ever traded was crude oil futures. So I was on a desk. We traded crude oil futures, DAX futures, um, S&P futures, and a few others. So I've always kind of had a fascination with crude oil futures. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why I'll talk about it here in this video and explain to you, you know, why it's one of my favorite markets in the world to trade. So as a recent time, let's kind of talk about this. So crude oil has been on this massive price run. I'm going to give you some analysis to what I look for in the markets as well. So hang tight in this video as I explain to you a few things. So this had a massive price run in the market. So whether it's crude oil, whether it's Apple stock, I don't care what it is. Whenever I see massive price runs uh, in any in any asset class, right, even Bitcoin, anything at all, I typically look and see, okay, well, where is profit taking coming in? You know, where do people kind of get off the train? So I, I've seen this. Um, you know, I saw this kind of move set up here, so I wanted to come in last week and start getting short. Now, unfortunately, uh, I was wiring money into a broker. Uh, there were some issues this week with CQG and some other things as well that caused some issues. Um, and I'll explain to you why, and, and also in this video, why you should have multiple brokers in case issues like this happen. So crude oil had this massive price run, okay? So one of the first things I look for, uh, whether it's energy markets trading, whatever it is, it, it, as I go and look and try to figure out what's happening with large time frames, okay? So if you notice, I'm on a larger time frame here. So a lot of you that trade futures, um, and this is from experience. In 2014, I started teaching futures traders uh, primarily. It's all I taught. A lot of you that trade futures, what I found is when you guys trade futures, you guys only look at tick charts. You look at small time frames. Okay. So when you look at the world of trading, and this is an important lesson, I'm just going to go through briefly. On a small time frame, all you see is this. So when you see a move like this, even though it moved two bucks. Even though this was bullish, all you see is this. You don't see the large time frame pressure that's being applied to markets, okay? And, and that's really important in, in my trading. It's really important in futures trading specifically because you have to understand where the market flow is. And if these terms don't make sense to you, again, subscribe to this channel. You'll learn a lot by just watching these videos. So the flow in this market was pretty bearish. We kind of tested. I'm going to go back here to the daily time frame. Just give me a second here. On Sunday night at the open, we kind of gapped higher, okay? So, again, I was watching this as well as some other fundamental things I'll spare you with in this video. We kind of gapped higher. It's like, you know what? This has got to reset this week. Uh, even last week, we were kind of watching to short this, and it finally broke down. So, we, we gapped higher Sunday, and obviously, the report came out Wednesday. Every Wednesday, there's an EIA report for those who don't trade futures. An EIA report comes out, which is a fundamental report on crude oil futures. It came out Wednesday, uh, caused the prices or, or to kind of move lower. So, you got this massive price move lower, um, and that's kind of the, the short analysis on it. And the second part is, and this is equally as important to analyzing markets for those of you who are new, is this. And me and Sam talked about it on our weekly radio show called Take Stock, is how do you structure positions, okay? So most of you that are trading markets, again, you just, okay, I buy or sell, okay? But I, I want to take it a step further. And when we teach this and we talk about this, and I would say at an institutional level, which is where I came from, we, we really thought about the trade. How, how do we structure it? Are we using options? Um, you know, are we buying shares and options? Are we going to use futures to hedge? What exactly are we going to do? So crude oil is a little different. So with this market here, right, my view was, number one, this could potentially trade down to 52s, 55s, okay? So if I, this is this week. If I had basically a $10 move lower on this market, my insight was this has a $10 move, okay? But again, I know crude oil even though yesterday was a massive down day, it's not going to get there in one day, okay? So what's the number one problem for those of you that traded futures? When you trade crude oil, it moves 60, 70 cents pretty quickly. It's hard to hold futures contracts for swings, okay? So I'm going to talk to you about how I structure trades and how I kind of keep what I call core position and then scalping positions, okay? So what I did was this. As I came in this week, I'm going to pull up a chart here. Let me go to AT on this, and I was short actually more. Um, these are the June 21 puts on crude oil. Uh, p is about 10 grand uh, at current time. Okay, so I've sold some. I've kept some on, on this position. 
So what I did is I gave myself time in this trade. Okay, so I came in and bought these these options on crude oil futures, um, and I have a core position. All right, this is what I call core, my swing position, and I have time on it. So when this position trades lower, what it allows me to do is be net short crude oil futures, but have a longer time of expiration. So even though crude oil bounces, last night moved three dollars. I don't necessarily have to worry about this position. Now, if I was trading actual futures contracts, let's do some simple math on this. Okay, if I had actual futures contracts, let's say I had 10 contracts, okay, and I did have some actual futures contracts in another account, which is a big deal this week with, with wire money and some other stuff, but I'll, I'll save you guys from that. So let's say I had 10 contracts. The overnight margin, I, I think, is about 5,500 bucks, give or take, right? You'd have to have about $55,000 at a min to maintain your margin at the broker to hold these positions overnight, okay? The difference with this is when I bought these, I think they were $1.30 a piece. I have to look at the costs on this, right? And I had about 15. So my cost on this, right, wasn't nearly as expensive, okay? So it was about 15, about 18 grand to put this position on. So it's basically about half of what this would have cost me had I had the actual futures contracts, okay? So there's one advantage there, okay? So when I put this swing on, I can keep this net short position I don't have to basically worry about these swings. Now, the other thing is, e even though my target on this, let me just kind of line this up for you guys, you know, is down here at 54s, potentially 55s, right? Let me show you what happened last night on crude oil futures, okay? So again, as most markets, right, whether it's cryptocurrencies, Apple stock, Tesla, it doesn't matter what it is, nothing just goes straight down or goes straight up, right? We all agree with that. So you got this price bounce last night, okay? It came back and tested what we, we consider technical levels. Again, if you're watching this video and you've noticed, we don't use indicators, right? We teach people to understand market fundamentals and price action in markets. We're not teaching you indicators. There's no software. Um, a lot of that, in my opinion, is just pure nonsense. So I, I, I had a feeling this would bounce last night, okay? So if I have a core position, and hang with me on this, right? And I knew there was a bounce. This is a $3 move on crude oil. A $3 move on one contract is equal to $3,000. It's a lot of money. The futures contract is a little bit different, okay? So I know I could I, I could have a tradable bounce on this, okay? So what I did is in my other brokerage account, and I'll talk about this in a second, I came in and I bought one of this month's contracts on, on the CLK21 options, okay? So I bought this at basically 147 or 140, I forgot where I exactly bought it, and I sold it at 180. So the cost, when I say 147, it sounds like equity options. You add it over. So this is actually $1,470. Okay, for those of you looking at it, it's like, oh, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I can buy a crude oil contract for $1,000 in margin. I, I understand you can do that. Okay. Again, the reason I use in certain scenarios in the markets, the futures contracts is because of the volatility. Right. If you're a person who trades, whether it's even S&P futures, okay, and a move goes against you or for you two, 300 bucks and you get out and you're like, dang, I should have held on for more. Right? I encourage you to look at these particular products. Now, don't go and start trading live, right? Practice on them and see how they work. Okay, so what I did is I came and I scalped this and I sold this at 180, right? Again, when I say 180, it's multiplied. Jump that over, it's actually 1800 bucks, okay? So I scalped overnight about 300 bucks on a single contract against this, right? This is what I call my scalping position. Okay, now earlier what I, I explained to you was I have a core position Right, which I'm swinging, then I have a scalp position. So what'll happen is, as as I'm looking for crude oil to trade, eventually. Now again, this might be more advanced for, for those of you who are getting to that level. As I'm looking for it to trade there, I keep a core position. But then all these micro moves, I can come in and trade one lots, two lots, and pull out money. So I, I, I'm making money with the swing trade and a short-term duration trade. Okay. Now this goes to my final point in this video. I wanted to teach you is this. For those of you who trade futures, here's my recommendation. So th there's been issues in the past of futures brokers. There's no one one best futures broker. We get that question all the time, okay? So I've been to multiple brokers. I've used two for, the, for a long time. Um, you know, well, my suggestion to use this is you always have two futures brokers just in case some data goes out. In fact, some data happened this week with CQG. Um, you know, it, it's happened to think or some before. Uh, it's always to have multiple brokers, okay? And that's my insight to you is because if issue happens, and you get moves like this, you're, you don't move out on them. So that's an important thing too. Again, if you're new to markets, if you're new to our YouTube channel, some of this stuff in this video might be a little bit advanced, right? I, I 
100% understand that. I'll make more videos coming at you with kind of basics of crude oil options trading. But I wanted to explain this to you in this video. Now, it's running a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I think this is some good insights for you guys to learn from this. So that being said, I do talk about these concepts in our course uh, and our, we call it market edge strategies. Let me kind of go here and show you guys what this is. So when you go to our website, you go to market edge strategies, you come down right here. Now, if you go here, it's called fast futures options. So fast futures options, all I teach in this course is how to trade crude oil futures options. Okay. It's only a three hour course. This isn't going to take you 10 weeks to go through. It's very simple. It's very direct. I explained to you what it is in this video here. So if you want to learn about trading West Texas crude oil options, I'd highly suggest looking at this course. Again, you can do it. You don't have to sit there and spend two weeks on it. It's pretty simple, pretty direct. So short little video here. Make sure to like, subscribe on our channel. Again, hit that little button because it'll, it'll notify you when I upload videos. And if we get a little bit lower on this crude oil position, I'll update you on it. But again, I kind of wanted to discuss it here in this video. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you guys next week in the markets.